Pierce Hawthorne, humiliated in the Battle of Big Bulletin Board, hey, wants a chance to redeem himself. I've been working on something. Look at this. You can build this. <laughs> you just give me the pillows. I hope to God we'll never have to use it. Oh, me too. Rumors of Hawthorne's weapon find their way to Troy. Troy Barnes will take no chances. He turns to Ben Chang, Greendale's chief of security, rumored to be literally psychotic, and who has been kept on the sidelines until this moment. <laughs> Chang has recruited an army of preteen security interns while moonlighting at a local bar mitzvah. They were later nicknamed the Chang Glorious Bastards, like Inglorious Bastards, but with Chang instead of In. I don't get it either. Most of the soldiers in this war hadn't fought with a pillow in years. These little bastards. Pillow fighting was a way of life for them. One of the injured said they were making necklaces out of mattress tags. This is when things get as ugly as they can get, while still being a pillow fight. Crazy war, huh? I heard Chang's kids are really ducking stuff up. Hey, check it out. I downloaded that thing. Birthday cake, birthday cake, unicorn, woman shoe. How's the nurse thing going? No response. You guys like pillows? How do you like these pillows? The Changlorious bastards have turned the war into a chaotic sea of high thread count terror. Under advice from his top general, Abed sees no choice but to unleash his doomsday device. He is part man, part pillow. All carnage. Pierce Hawthorne has transformed himself into an unstoppably plush juggernaut. Guys, guys, just retreat. Go, go. The war won't stop with First Blood Part 2. It will escalate to Rambo 3, which should really be called Rambo 2 First Blood Part 3. But the Rambo titles never made sense. And neither does war. Abed Nadir. Facebook status update. Leonard likes this post. Give me some more time in